If you are writing anything online, and I mean anything, posts, emails, you have to have this software. I am talking about Grammarly. It is an amazing tool and it is one that I think you are gonna love. I can't wait till you see this. Hey, what's up? It's Tori Mathis, longtime entrepreneur, marketing agency CEO, and host of Smart AF. And I am always looking for software for tech that is gonna make my life and my client's life a little bit easier, save us some money, help us run our business just a little bit easier. And you know what? This is another one, I cannot lie. Grammarly is a game changer. So what is Grammarly? Grammarly is an AI powered grammar and spelling assistant. Now you might think I already have word or I already have autocorrect, but let's be serious. Have you seen some of the things that autocorrect changes your text to? Do you really wanna rely on that when we're talking about your professionalism, your business? I don't. <laughs> and let me tell you, I started off with the Grammarly free version and I upgraded very happily because I saw the power that it did. That is way beyond just spell check. It is way beyond grammar check. It really is a powerful tool. So what are the alternatives to Grammarly? Well, I kind of like said, like you could write everything in Word and have Word correct it, but the corrections that Grammarly has found, like I had already corrected a document inside of Word and then brought it into Grammarly and Grammarly, I mean, it, it blew it away, the, some of the changes that they did. It has actually made me understand grammar a little bit more and I'm not a good speller. I am not like grammatically correct, but I do appreciate looking professional and I always want to get those damn grammar people that want to correct everything that you do like this is your tool against them so i have used grammarly for i'm gonna say about two years now and i even have it for my staff and my kids i wish i had this when i was going to school they are lucky so grammarly is actually beyond even like a grammar and spelling check like i do laugh that it's like you know grammar check but or autocorrect but it really is way beyond that from grammar to spelling to spelling style and tone. Like it will judge your style and tone. It'll tell you if you're using a word too many times. It'll give you options for other words that you should be using. It'll tell you if you're using passive language so that your, your writing sounds weak. And you know, beyond that, it is gonna help you be more confident in what you are writing. And that is super important. So let's talk about some of the pros of Grammarly. Now first, it is a Chrome browser extension, so it works everywhere, on every single website that you have. And it works pretty well on all of them. So if you are writing a post, like Facebook, it's gonna check your grammar there. It's gonna give you all of those options right there. If you're in Gmail, writing an email, it is gonna correct it there too. So it works everywhere. Now, it does not work great on Word on a Mac, I'm gonna say. Like, before it didn't work at all, and they have come out with it for Word, but I couldn't really get it to work right. So I actually open up the Grammarly app. I do have an app on my computer, and I actually write right inside of Grammarly, and it's pretty much like Word but better because it corrects all of these different things. And so that is one thing that was a little bit weird, but if you're on a PC, like apparently it is fantastic and works really great with Word if that's your writing processor uh, software of choice. So another pro is that beyond grammar, like I said, beyond grammar, beyond spelling, it is gonna check your tone. It is gonna check how formal you are. Like you could decide how formal you want your writing to be, and then it's gonna judge you based on that. So if you're writing something that's for school, you're gonna write that different than if you're writing a blog post and you can put it right in there and then it's going to have its changes and its, and its suggestions be based on that. And that's pretty awesome. Like you can't get that anywhere else. So it's really easy to go through and process all of the changes that they are giving you. And it actually tells you why. So if you wanted to learn like, why shouldn't I use that version? Or what does passive mean? Like it's gonna actually explain some things to you right there. And so it is gonna make you just a better writer in general. And all of us could use that. It's also pretty good at getting the corrections correct, but it is really easy if you want to that you can just pass on a certain correction and it's not gonna keep highlighting it or going back to it and trying to get you to correct it. It also gives you scores based on how many corrections you have so that you can kind of know where you're at and if your document is ready to go. 
So let's talk about some of the cons of Grammarly, and there really are not that many because it's pretty much an awesome program all around. So one of them is, is that uh, it does mess up some builders. Now I have done another video on Kartra and talked about that Kartra was a little bit glitchy. Well, Kartra is a little bit glitchy with Grammarly and they actually suggested that I turn Grammarly off, but it's really easy to do that. Like if it's messing up anything that you're trying to do. And like I said, with some of these builders, like there's like a, a page builder and an email builder built into Kartra. Some of these things it just doesn't really play well with, but it's really easy to just, you can turn it off always. Like you could say always turn off on Kartra, or you could just turn it off at that specific time. And that seems to fix any of the issues. Um, there has been a few times though, that it was just making my pages load a little bit slowly, especially when like we were traveling and so we didn't have our home internet, which is a little bit quicker. But again, it's really easy to toggle on or off. So if things are just running a little bit slow and you notice that Grammarly is the one that is always trying to load, uh, you can easily just switch that off. So there is a free version of Grammarly. So no excuse, like you need to go download it right now. I'm gonna put the link down below. And the free version though, it corrects spelling and grammar, but it will tell you like, if you had the premium version, you could correct this many things. And once you get that premium version, like it's stuff that you wouldn't have even thought of, like unless you are like one of those English major super grammar people, like you may not have even noticed that you were making these mistakes. So there is a premium and a business version and those come in at about $12 a month. I believe I pay annually and I think it's about $120 a year. And again, totally worth it. So again, I am gonna put the link below because you at least need to get the free version so that you are beyond autocorrect. So do I think that Grammarly is a smart choice? Absolutely. That is why I have paid for it year after year and will continue to do so. I think if anybody that is writing anything on a computer at least needs the free version. And you shouldn't rely on autocorrect. You need another layer. Then you can avoid some of these silly mistakes or, or mistypes or find words that apparently you have no idea how to spell. Restaurant, why can't I still not spell that? What is wrong with me? Did you know that editing only has one T? I had no idea. And you even learn where all those pesky commas actually go. And if you're blogging, then it is fantastic. If you are email writing, it is super. And if you are gonna write a book, yes, it can help you too. So check out the link below and then download the free version and let me know what you think. I think this is definitely one that is gonna be a smart choice for you. And if you are looking for more smart choices, more tech that is gonna help save some time, save some money, make you look a little bit more professional, check out my full series on software reviews. And I hope you like this one. This is a great software, Grammarly. You gotta get this one.